I thought I would be really huge for one album and then the next one wouldn't be as big. And then the third one would be really weird and awkward. And like the critics would love it, but it wouldn't sell. And I'd like disappear and have a little apartment somewhere flat, you know, and be happy forever after because I don't have to do this shit anymore, you know. But it didn't quite work out that way, you know. <laughs> Embarrassing, really, having photos of yourself. And this one here, ju that's just me with my own audience. No props, okay. I did have an audience, you see, who did things like that. They groped with their hands. The first couple of times I saw Grant Parker, it was with a band. So it was like, from where he was standing to the wall, it was like, the energy was all... <laughs> It had bags of soul in it, real feeling. But I'm a fan. What can I say? And I don't, you know, I, I wouldn't care to comment and be filmed saying that about all that many people. He pours his heart out. Uh, not everybody's capable of it, even if they wanted to or are willing to. Not everybody's really as capable of just spilling that right out onto a stage as Graham Parker. <laughs> Dave Robinson, he said to me one day, he said, you've got to listen to this. He said, you've got to hear this. And he played me three tracks by this guy called Graham Parker. And I was absolutely knocked out. I thought, this is fucking brilliant. You know, this guy, he's got everything. You think you got it all set up. You think you got the perfect plan. The charm any man you see And play with everyone that you can well, There was a time in your career where, when you might have been likely to say I don't, I don't care if they're going to play my songs on the radio or not. Is that no, fair? No, never. No, oh, really? Never. He wanted to have hits and I try, wanted him to have hits as a normal manager. And we did try quite a lot, but Graham had... There was something so far he could go. He always had a very high credibility threshold. Everything was always off. It was just never going to be this big commercial thing. I could smell it. I was like, this smells so bad, man. Just can't get, just can't get no protection. Just can't get, just can't get no protection. And we're out there and we're doing, we're touring America. We had the best American tour that we did. I, I say it in all modesty. We were fucking great. <laughs> They were outstanding live. They'd really become one of the best live acts in Britain. But he's doing what he wants, what he needs to do. It's like, this is what I want to do. This is what I need to do. This is like, I have to do this. And I'm going to be doing this whether you're here or not. You know, I'm going to be doing this whether there's whether there's 10 of you or whether there's 10,000 of you. I'm doing this thing. So who was here last weekend? Anyone? Yes, just one? Uh, or, you know, because there's like five losers who come back to every show over and over again. I have to keep, you know, coming up with different sets. It's very tiring. You know, so I didn't pay my dues early in my life. I, I came from nowhere to being some kind of star. I'm paying him now. Graham Parker, are, are you happy? Uh, no, I see happiness, <laughs> there's, a, mis, there's a, a whole misconception. It's, happiness is a very brief thing to me. It, anything can happen at any moment. I think I'm getting to realize that more and more. And I am on the brink of paranoia, my friend. Very <laughs> serious paranoia here. <laughs>